What's happening? Crypto fam, happy, happy Monday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content. So thank you. Markets took a bit of a dip. So um, get buying it. Dollar cost averaging all the way down. Diversify. Buy the assets you've been interested in. The one that you thought got a little bit too expensive but now has come down immensely. Um, new story today, according to CryptoSlate.com, this was shared the other day, I nearly covered it on Friday um, and Saturday morning, but didn't really have time, and then I forgot about it Sunday, yesterday while I was live, but Cardano becomes the most decentralised network on the market with majority of ADA supply state. Interesting, so we're all about decentralisation guys, we know this. With more than 69% of its total circulating supply now states, Cardano has surpassed Polkadot as the most decentralized network in the world. According to data from staking rewards, over 21.75 billion ADA has been staked on the Cardano network so far. Woo! Go get your ADA, lad. <laughs> So, let's break it down a little bit. I'll see how they break it down a little bit. Cardano is now the most decentralized blockchain network in the world. Cardano, an ambitious blockchain platform created by IOHK, has been on a quest to become the world's foremost blockchain platform. Used for everything from dApps to digital identity and blockchain voting. However, with the blockchain smart contract interoperability and governance functionalities yet to be fully released, many have dismissed the significance it currently has on the market. But, according to the latest data from Data Aggregator Staking Rewards, Cardano has now become the most decentralized blockchain network on the market. There are currently over 21.75 billion other states on Cardano, representing 69% of its total circulating supply. The blockchain has surpassed Polkadot, which has long held the first spot amongst blockchains in terms of state value. More than 100 million new ADA delegated in a single day. Data from Cardano data aggregator ADA pools has shown that the active stake or the total amount of ADA delegated at the end of the last epoch currently stands at around 21.47 billion ADA. The live stake, which represents the real amount of ADA currently delegated to the state pool, stands at 21,750,541,767. Interesting. Out of 21.75 billion out of currently states, over 100 billion has been delegated to state pools on January the 5th alone. No way with just the 100 million new stake adder on a single day. This is insane. Go stake and don't sell. According to data published by Pierre Tanierop, an average of 25.7 million new ADA have been staked per day in the past seven days. There has also been an average of 1,500 new delegates to the network every day for the, for the past week, while 1,895 new wallets have been created on January the 8th alone. Is ADA getting ready to pop, baby? The most decentralized platform on the market now. Tips Polkadot. See who else is running it. Oh, excuse me, got the yarns. Got the yarns this morning. I don't like reading price forecasts. The top five cryptocurrencies to watch this week, BTC, Adar, EOS, Theta, and R Ave. So 
So polka dots lost the top spot. <coughs> Investing.com Cardano was trading at 30 cents by 13.29 GMT on the Investing.com index Sunday, down 11% on the day. It was the largest 1% one day percentage loss since December 23, 2020. The move downwards pushed Cardano's market cap down to 9.4 billion, or 90% of the total cryptocurrency market cap. 0.90% sort of. At its highest, Cardano's market cap was 23 billion. Cardano was traded in a range of 29 to 34 cents in previous 24 hours. Over the past seven days, Cardano has seen a rise in value. It's gained 55.8% uh, of the volume of Cardano was trading in the 24 hours. At the time of writing this, was 3.6 billion, or 2.17% of the total volume of all cryptocurrencies. 2%, well, that's decent, no? It has traded in a range of 19 cents to 35 cents in the past seven days. At its current price, Cardano is still down 77% from its all time high of $1.35, set on January the 4th, 2018. It's interesting. Like I said at the beginning, the markets took a little dip. Let's go and have a ganders. Because it wasn't over the trillion market cap when I got up this morning. It was back under it, and it's still under it now. 930 billion. You got a 34k Bitcoin, 1,048 dollars Ethereum, 27 cent XRP. Bitcoin Cash is down at four 470 odd dollars now. Only fucking 650 like 12 hours ago. <laughs> Someone had the shorts on last night. Now, Polkadot has plummeted a little bit. And not only has it lost top spot in the most decentralized platform race to Cardano, it's actually Cardano's took it in the market cap charts. 26 cents Cardano, $7.63. Um, where's the market cap? There we go. Cardano's market cap 8.38 billion at the moment. Polkadot 7.7 .7 billion at the moment. Cardano's up 19 percent on the seven day. Polkadot's down 24% on the seven day. Interesting. Glad I bought Ada when I did. I'm still looking at getting some polka dot towards the back end of this week. But that's extremely, extremely interesting. Also, take a look at Litecoin. If you wanted some Litecoin, you feel like it kind of ran away from you. She's on her way back down at the moment. And again, no one knows how much this this is going to really correct. You're going to get a retrace and correction here. You want to get the fibs on it and all that, and dollar cost average on the way down. Maybe try and enter it on a long. You you know how you trade. I don't want to try and tell you what to do. You just do it to your strategy. Excuse me. V chain still above two cents, which is good. What I hope I see dips. So we can accumulate a little bit more, but we do want it to start going soon. Getting fucking sick of work. <laughs> That's why a year off with a fucking wages in the bank. I just want 30, 40 grand in a bank in a year off, do you know what I mean? Too much is that not too much to ask. I know you like this. When shit don't go your way <laughs> Going to The Twitter No actually we can check news on CoinMarketCap 
other news. At a rally's 30%, why bulls are not done yet. There could be a 1 million. There could be 1 million Cardano wallets created in 2021. There could be 100 million Cardano wallets open in 2021. I know a co founder, Schnee, Schneene, Schneene, Schnee. Schneene. Schne this is S C H I E N E R. Shine, shine, shining, shining, shiner. The fuck knows. <laughs> Governance in 2021, what the future holds for Cardano. In a recent tube vid. Charles Hodgkinson, the CEO of IOHK, looks back at 2020 and how it helped shape Cardano into a future-proof third-generation blockchain with 2021 right around the corner. Hodgkinson also laid out what next year will have in store for the blockchain with governance being a central point of the project's development in the next several months. This year was about taking Cardano's training wheels off but back on 2020, very few products have managed to evolve as much as Cardano did. The ambitious third generation blockchain developed by IOHK has slowly been breaking into the mainstream this year, mostly thanks to the launch of Shiela, its staking era. But while it might seem like Cardano's rapid rise in 2020 came out of nowhere, Charles Hodgkinson, the CEO, and I've got to follow the fucking link now. Just put the put the full article there, mate. In recent YouTube video, blah 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 blah. This is blah 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 blah. Read that. Stake near all that's what Charles Hodgson, the CEO, said the project was about five years development. Since it was created in 2015, every year it has been amazing for Cardano, Hodgkinson said in his latest tube vid. Both IOHK and the Cardano community grew from just a handful of people to an enormous group of people scattered around the world, all working towards the same goal. This year was especially significant for Cardano, as it really marked the beginning of a rapid global growth. The project now has over 1,200 staked pools, hundreds and hundreds of users, and partnerships with hundreds of companies and institutions. However, Despite the huge significance 2020 had for Cardano, 2021 will be the year the project will truly shine. Next year will be about the harnessing the power of the community that gathered around the project in the last few years. When we look to beyond March 2021, many things will change, said in the video. So we have, we have to have training wheels. Luckily, the company is experienced with training wheels. Hodgkinson frequently saying that Cardano wouldn't be where it is today if they didn't spend months reviewing the project in various test nets. <laughs> After Shelley launched, the company learned that you have to have a gradual handover with an educational component in order to have a successful launch. Adding an educational component to any launch has very serious consequence. And while many cryptocurrency projects choose to deal with community option, uh, opinions through damage control, Cardano has adopted a community first development attitude and wants the community to decide how the blockchain runs and where it will go. True decentralization, that the community choosing and deciding what happens. To do that, Cardano needs to implement. A very robust and scalable governance system that can support a steady stream of divergent opinions from hundreds of thousands and potentially millions of people. Learning how to think about Cardano. Project Catalyst, launched earlier this year, is the training wheels the Cardano community needed to learn about governments. Hodgkinson said that allowing people to express their opinions and learn how to think about Cardano in a relatively closed off environment that can be easily updated and fixed was crucial for building a sustainable governance system for the future. 
Well, Project Catalyst itself is still very beta, as Hodgkinson put it. The company won't focus too much on its technical improvements. Instead, the goal for 2021 is to maximise participation in governance and have as my ad holders, um, have as many ad holders as possible voting and creating proposals. We want to make sure that voting tools get better and more inclusive, Hodgkinson said. A big goal for 2021 is to have a dedicated voting centre in the Daedalus wallet. Mmm, interesting. There's going to be a voting mobile app, there'll be a wallet, there will be... A it's all coming. We talked about maximising participation as it was a goal that's hard to attain and actually won't take much more work to mobilise the community to fulfil the company's threshold. Namely, Hodgkinson said, and despite 64% of all ladder currently states, only a small number of those staking actually participate in voting. He explained that the goal is to have 50% of all eligible users to vote, making Cardano's voter turnout exactly like the turnout scene in the US presidential elections. I've said many times, me, people are only going to vote about what they truly care about or they truly want to change. If people don't necessarily want any change, you ain't going to see a vote from them. It's weird what's going to happen with that in the future. If someone doesn't vote, do they need everyone on the platform to vote? Can you, can you, do you know what I mean? We've spoken about everything from democracy to just how the platform's going to run. It's going to be interesting to see how it all pans out and gets ironed out. But another important part of introducing governance to Cardano is idea scale. The company's platform helps define what the meaningful participation is on the blockchain as it allows complex ideas to be dissected and broken into smaller pieces. While the goal of this process is to help present these complex ideas to as many people as possible in an understandable way. It also has a rather useful side effects, the creation of institutions and thought leaders. A healthy ecosystem consists of a diverse group of institutions and thought leaders and has a sys systematic process for analysing complex ideas. I can see a lot coming from Cardano in the future. I'll hold a little bag, it's not too big. Um, it's one of them one of them coins where you really do like what I'll be holding at least a thousand of them. Do you know what I mean? Like don't don't sleep on some tokens, just literally get a I don't care if they only cost you a tenner at the moment to get that thousand, if it cost hundred pound a grand what? Just go and get a thousand of, of certain tokens and sit on them until 2025 because you never know you never know how much they're going to be worth they might only be worth pennies at the moment but again come 2023 2025 and beyond it could be worth thousands each just look at bitcoin and don't listen to people who say oh well nothing else is going to do what bitcoin did what year in finance is 29k in it so why don't they all shut the fuck up yeah yeah <laughs> gonna get ready for work i'll get ready to set off should i say i'm already ready just waiting for the apprentice but yeah you know the dance guys invest in yourself invest in the internet of value live long and oddly all till you're ready to let it go don't delay diversify today accumulate and wait baby turn hobbies into revenue Got 10 to 15 years turn hobbies into revenue just keep trying keep trying keep trying most overnight successes are a 10 year grind we're three years in remember that remember that seven years over seven years yet but a 10 year overnight success patience young padawan <laughs> until then enjoy your week guys yeah we love crypto we love cardano and we love you until the next one, peace.